Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to evaluate expressions. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. So in this video we're going to talk about evaluating expressions with substitution. Now substitution is just when you take the variable and you substitute or you plug it in to the equation for what value is given to you. After you substitute the value in for the variable, you will follow the order of operations to simplify the expression. In the case of this example expression, that is 15 minus x, and we know that x equals 5, we're going to take the value that represents our variable, which in this case is 5, and we're going to substitute it in for the variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 5 and substitute it in for x by replacing x with the 5. After we've substituted 5 in, we will then simplify using order of operations. In the case of this one, we have 15 minus x. This x is going to change to a 5 because 5 represents our variable. So we know that x is equal to 5, so we're going to swap out x for 5. Once we've done that, we can just simplify into 15 minus 5, which is 10. So now our expression is evaluated using substitution and we know that the solution is 10. In this example we have a substitution symbol, but you may be given addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division in order to simplify using the order of operations. Let's do a couple practice problems from our evaluating expressions worksheet. The first problem on our evaluating expressions worksheet gives us x plus 1 where x is equal to 5. We know that if x is equal to 5, we can replace x with 5 by using substitution. I can take this 5 and substitute it into the expression where x used to be. So x plus 1 is going to change into 5 plus 1 because now our x has been substituted with a 5 and now it's a 5. All we do after this point is use order of operations to simplify. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So after we evaluate this expression, our answer is 6. Number 2 on our evaluating expressions, number two on our evaluating expressions worksheet gives us 3x and tells us that x is equal to 7. So we're going to take this 7 and we're going to substitute it in for x. Now 3x is like saying 3 times x, so even though it's not written, there's a multiplication symbol there. In this case, we're going to say 3 times x, but x is now 7, so we're going to say 3 times 7. So now the x is gone and it's been replaced by 7, and 3 times 7 is equal to 21, and that's our answer for this expression. The third problem on our evaluating expressions worksheet gives us 10 divided by x. This time x is equal to 2, so we're going to take this 2 and substitute it in for x. Our expression is now 10 divided by x, but in this case x is 2, so now it's 10 divided by 2. And then 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So our expression is evaluated and our solution is 5. The last problem we're going to complete on our evaluating expressions worksheet is number 5. This problem gives us the expression x plus x. In this case, x is equal to 3, and we have two x's in our expression. This means we're going to take this 3 and substitute it in to both x's in our expression. So we know x is equal to 3. There are two x's, or two variables. That means the 3 has to be substituted into both. So now it's going to be, instead of x plus x, it will be 3 plus 3 which is equal to, after you simplify, 6. So after our expression has been evaluated, our solution is 6. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.